Jack Shriver, President of the Honolulu Navy League, and I'm honored to be your host for tonight's celebration. This year's American Patriot Award Recognition Banquet is our 19th annual event. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Honolulu Navy League and all of our members, I thank you for attending and I'm honored by your presence. Tonight, we celebrate from sea to shining sea with our Navy and with Matson. But in Hawaii, we also celebrate excellence. So what uh, hand sign do we make in Hawaii to celebrate excellence? Could be this, could be this. <laughs> so you can either give a shaka, which represents excellence here in Hawaii or all around the world if you'd like to give this. Yeah, you don't need to make the shaka sign like this tonight. But tonight, Admiral Vic, Thank you so much for your service that you have given to us being the patriots that you are. And so this evening, we're going to celebrate excellence in all of the United States of America and around the world. So if you would just hold your hands like this, look at the person next to you and just give them a simple grin. Go ahead. Because tonight we celebrate excellence. And so receive this blessing as we celebrate our 2022 Patriots Dinner. As we prepare to break bread together, we pause to give you thanks for our opportunity to gather this night and celebrate once again after these many months, that we might go forth from this place prepared to be your instruments of peace and fortitude. In your holy name we pray, amen. There's many distinguished guests here. I'm not even gonna start, but to the flag officers, service members, distinguished guests, families, and friends, thank you for coming. You honor us by your presence. I believe you'd have to go search far and wide to get to find two individuals who have worked harder to advance our nation's interests and the two awardees tonight sit with us as Mr. Vic Angoko and Admiral Harry Harris. We work together every single day to prevent conflict and to execute what Secretary Austin has titled integrated deterrence. Now, we do that every day. What I learned in preparation for this event is that both Vic and Harry have been doing the same thing for their entire lives. Again, I've been following Harry a lot of places. He also had a speech here about five years ago. And in his speech, he said this, a free nation cannot survive without those who are willing to place service to country ahead of service to self. Harry, you've done that every day. Vic, you've done that as well. We are indebted to both of you. And tonight we're fortunate to have the opportunity to honor you both for that service. We get a chance to thank you for your contribution to your nation and your contribution to deliver a free and open Indo-Pacific. Aloha, I'm Senator Maisie Hirono, and I am glad to be with you all today to celebrate Admiral Harry Harris. I first met Admiral Harris in 2013, shortly before he took over command of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Over the years, he has become a friend and trusted partner, and he and his wife, Bruni, have become members of our Hawaii Ohana. It's fitting that Admiral Harris is receiving this year's American Patriot Award. A naval officer and a diplomat, he has dedicated his life to serving our country. Well, I've known Harry for almost 30 years now. We were both stationed in Japan uh, together when we were mid-grade officers. Um, we were in the same business. We were trying to find Russian and Chinese submarines, but he was doing it from up at 10,000 feet or 2,000 feet, and I was doing it from beneath the waves. But we were pretty successful back in those days. 
Uh, nobody is more deserving of the American Patriot Award. Uh, Harry is a great naval aviator, a wonderful leader, uh, has a sense of humor, can tell a story, uh, but has just a fabulous sense of the geopolitical interests that are fundamental to our national security. Uh, and as such, uh, he's made a fabulous contribution to our nation's security. As commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet and later the Indo-Pacific Command, Admiral Harris worked to bolster our nation's military presence in the Pacific. Understanding the importance of collaboration, he helped to strengthen our relationships with other militaries in the region and build consensus about how best to address emerging threats. And in 2018, I was honored to introduce Admiral Harris at his confirmation hearing to be our nation's ambassador to South Korea. What makes Harry a great leader is he's absolutely fearless about telling the truth. If you're the president or the secretary of defense, you want him on your team because you know that he's gonna give it to you uh, absolutely straight, uh, even maybe when you don't want to hear it. Uh, during his tenure here in Hawaii, first as the Pacific Fleet Commander and then later as the Pacific Commander, uh, nobody has engaged this community uh, more completely and with more energy than, than Harry and, and Bruni. I think uh, he never turned down a speech in, in five years if it was to help this community move forward in any way, shape, or form. He made a lot of friends, a, a legion of friends, and certainly I hope this award, the American Patriot Award, brings him back to Hawaii many, many times. He led efforts to renegotiate our security agreement with South Korea and worked to build close military, diplomatic, and business relationships between our countries. Ammo Harris was so committed to being an effective representative of our nation that he went so far as to make Kim Chi as our ambassador. Well, you could say that Harry failed retirement. Uh, we had a wonderful ceremony in Pearl Harbor with Missouri and Arizona in the background. He gave a great speech, uh, but instead of riding off to the sunset in Colorado, uh, the president nominated him to be our ambassador to South Korea, which of course was a very challenging job. But that's Harry, he's a patriot. In addition to his distinguished service, Admiral Harris made history as the first Asian American four-star admiral in the U.S. Navy, making him the highest ranking Asian American in the Navy's history. Admiral Harris represents the best of our nation. Our state, our country, and our world is safer because of his leadership. Congratulations, Harry and Bruni. You're richly deserving of the American Patriot Award. Ammo Harris, mahalo for all you have done for Hawaii and our nation. And congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. Aloha. I decided to talk about the fact, ladies and gentlemen, that we have more in common, you and I, than just an interest in geopolitics. What connects us across the generations is our shared values, our shared hopes, and our shared love of country. Today, America remains the brightest beacon of freedom and opportunity in the world. We see that, we see that play out globally every day, and in Ukraine especially today. Thankfully, our nation has always been blessed with strong women and men of exceptional courage and character. Patriots who step forward to do whatever it takes to defend America whenever Lady Liberty is at risk, to answer that clarion call to defend our nation time and time again. They serve with distinction, standing their watch in an unbroken chain from generation to generation. They all deserve recognition as American patriots. Our battles, our victories, indeed our way of life are owed not to great moments, 
or important dates. They are owed to the actions and sacrifices of individual women and men willing to step into the breach for their country and for the cause of freedom. America is the country she is because of her heroes past and present. People who put the nation's interest above self-interest, who put patriotism above profit, and who put love of country above love of self. Thanks to the Navy League and like-minded organizations, America's fighting women and men can endure the pain of separation from their families and friends so that they can carry out their singularly important mission of defending freedom around the globe. Thanks to the Navy League and like-minded organizations, America's elected leaders have a more fulsome understanding of the criticality of sea power to our nation's defense. And for those of you in uniform and those of us like me who once served, the support of the Navy League means so much and is the bedrock of our strength. You're all heroes in my book. You're all winners in my book. You fight right alongside the women and men of the armed forces and you do it not for any measure of personal aggrandizement, but because you believe, as President Theodore Roosevelt believed and once said, that no man is warranted in feeling pride in the deeds of the Army and Navy of the past if he does not back up the Army and Navy of the present. So I truly thank you for what you do on a daily basis to help ensure the viability of the U.S. Navy and the well-being of our sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen, wherever they may serve. And I thank you again for this incredible award. So may God bless the women and men serving in the armed forces. May God bless the United States Navy League. And may God bless America. Thank you very much. Aloha. Aloha. Hi, I'm Michael Jones, and um, I've had the wonderful honor and um, I'm very grateful to uh, have known Vic Ngoko for the last 10 years. Um, when he first came into the Pacific, into the South Pacific, to lead the work around, I suppose, um, extending the footprint of Matin into Aotearoa, New Zealand, and the islands of the South Pacific. From the moment I met him to now, our relationship has just blossomed and grown. And, um, you know, I call him a very, very dear and close friend. Aloha and half a day. My name is Pete Gumatauto. I'm the director of the Daniel K. Noe Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies. And I'm here to honor an awesome person, an awesome American and a good friend, Vic Ngoko, who's currently the senior vice president for Matson Navigation Company in Alaska. But before I talk about Vic, I want to do a quick mahalo nui loa. A thank you so much to the Navy League in Honolulu, uh, President Jack Shriver, as many of us know, as well as all the sponsors, volunteers, and supporters that made tonight and made everything leading up tonight a reality for this American Patriots Awards event. I also want to give a warm shout out and a warm aloha to Admiral or Ambassador Harry Harris. I don't know if Bruni's going to be with you, sir. Congratulations, sir, to you and to Bruni. I couldn't think of anyone more deserving of the American Patriot Award than, than Vic Ngoko. Um, you know, really neat aspect of who Vic is, um, and it's probably not widely known, um, is the fact that he is also a, a high chief or a matai of, um, of his family and his community and his village and his people back in the islands of Samoa. Our culture, we have a saying as Samoans, the road to true leadership is through service. And that epitomizes his life story. For me, everything that Vic's done has been about serving his, his fellow man, his, his people, his community, the people of the South Pacific, the people of Micronesia, um, Hawaii. My key theme about Vic Ngoko, about the type of person he is, and why he was considered for this incredible uh, award and recognition is because Vic and Goko always puts others in front of himself, being very selfless, being very humble, be being very appreciative of the Indo-Pacific region and the opportunities that it, that, it, that it gives in front for the future. 
of generations to come. And with that in mind, his whole effort has been to give back to the community, both professionally as a senior Matson uh, executive, or even personally in his own time, being part of boards and committees and advisory committees to be able to give back in a personal way. When I think of a patriot, a patriot is someone that stands above on the mountaintop and, and waves a flag about, hey, you know, this is not about me. This is about my people, my community, making a sacrifice, uh, going the extra mile, um, never say never, um, and giving it 110% every time because it's worth it. And so, you know, that's what I really love and admire about Vic and again, why he's just so deserving of the, you know, this wonderful award, the um, American Patriot Award. His roots growing up in Guam and being actually uh, part of, of uh, being part of a military family because his father was a gunner's mate in the Navy for 20 years has really helped shape the way Vic approached how he lived his life both in Guam, Hawaii, and now in Alaska. And that, I think, is reflected on some of the activities he's done, starting with Matson, where he truly believed that the relationship between that company and the community needed to be very strong and vibrant. Just want to say on behalf of myself and our family and our community, we just are so proud of you and uh, congratulations. We say a big fa mahalo lover. Live in this moment that you deserve so, so well. And uh, all the very best. Ia manuia, haftai, soifua. I am very, very honored to stand here and say a few words for him. Everybody that knows Vic and everybody that will know Vic will be better after having that experience of working and being with them. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. I'd like to uh, thank uh, Jane Ferreira, the Honolulu Council Navy League Board and past presidents for this award tonight and for all the Navy League does to support the sea services. You know, Admiral Harris tonight talks about the, uh, the military side, the, Navy, the U.S. Navy and the Coast Guard and the U.S. Marines. And uh, I stand up here on the other side, which is the U.S. Merchant Marine, which supports uh, the U.S. sea services as well. It's all about being humble. Just do the job. When we do our job, the ships come in, they go out, goods get into the, into the community, all is well. It's when things go a little wrong that we all got to step up and make sure we try to make it as seamless as possible. So here, tonight I have four tables here that have mostly Matson employees as well as, uh, as, well as other uh, vendors. Matt Garden with McCabe, I got a Sauce Brothers out there. They're all part of this, this group that, that moves cargo. And I want to thank them uh, because it's really them. I just get to stand up here and, and, uh, and receive, that, uh, receive this award. But this, this, this award is uh, really for, for all of us who uh, continue to do our job day and keep our head down and, and keep things moving. I would like to recognize the sea services of the U.S. Navy. U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Coast Guard, and the U.S. Merchant Marine. For all that you do to protect our country and in particular our Pacific region so that we may enjoy the freedom we have and keep commerce moving to all our communities. I like to say that while I'm receiving this award on behalf of the Mats and Ohana, this is in recognition of all that you do day in and day out, 24-7, 365 days a year, even during a pandemic. Thank you. I would also like to recognize especially my wife Evelyn and my three sons and Ev and uh, my three sons, two of them who are, uh, uh, which are here tonight, Connor and Austin. My oldest one is uh, in Guam 
being an adult and being on his own. But they've been by my side all this time, 32 years, continue to support me and make, and make sacrifices, even to today. And it's been said a couple of times, I am in Anchorage, I am in Alaska serving, uh, while my family is here, as my youngest son is a senior in high school. So, you know, it's funny, uh, Admiral Aquilino said Anchorage got the best part now. I've never heard anyone put it that way. <laughs> Usually I hear, what did he do to piss the boss off that he's up in Anchorage? So thank you to everyone for joining us here tonight in support of the uh, Honolulu Council Navy League. God bless the Honolulu Council Navy League. God bless the United States Sea Services and God bless America. Thank you everybody. These two gentlemen were selected by the Council of Past Presidents of the Honolulu Navy League as exemplifying what Senator Daniel Inouye once called the American Patriot, which is a testament to love of country and selfless service. The Navy League is humbled to support our sea services. We advocate, educate, and support. And having you here tonight is amazing to help us support and continue to do what we do to advocate for a stronger and safer seas, educate our elected officials and our community about why that's important as a maritime nation and support our active duty and their families. This is what it's all about tonight. So I thank you. Without you, our supporters, it would not be possible. And Vic and Edma Harris, your hard act to follow. And um, you both have served our community so greatly, and we all appreciate that. You have made a difference. You have been the difference for so many years in our communities. So thank you for that. We're here to advocate for tomorrow's future for our sea services. And thank you for making that possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>